Okay, what we're going to do here is uh, multiply some binomials together, or some binomials and trinomials. And the first thing we're going to do is expand out 3a minus 4b squared. Do not just take this square in, because first you need to do what's in the parentheses. There's nothing I can do in the parentheses, so what I need to do is take the 3a minus 4b times another 3a minus 4b. You may have heard of this referred to as foiling for first, outer, inner, last. Foil. Well, the first is the 3a, and the first over here is the 3a. And 3a times 3a is 9a squared, adding the exponents on the a's. One, and this is to the first power, gives us 9a squared. Now really what we need to do is continue this on out. Take the 3a times each of these, then take the minus 4b times each of these. So we already did the first, 3a times 3a gives us 9a squared. Now we'll take the 3a times the minus 4b, which gives us negative 12ab. Now move into the minus 4b, minus 4b times 3a, this is the inner. Taking this across, minus 4b times 3a is minus 12ab. And minus 4b times minus 4b is a positive 16b squared. And then combining like terms, these are the only two like, like terms, we get minus 24ab. So we get 9a squared minus 24ab plus 16b squared. Now if somebody would have said expand out this where it's to the third power, well I'd first have to square it, which I did up above, and got this. Now I'm going to need to take another 3a minus 4b times this stuff. So again, we'll need to take the 3a times each one of these in this trinomial here, three-term polynomial. And then I'll need to take this minus 4b from this binomial times all the terms in this trinomial. So take, taking the 3a across one at a time, the 3a times the 9a squared gives me 27a cubed. The 3a times the negative 24ab gives me a minus 72a squared b. The 3a times the 16b squared gives me 48ab squared. Now to the minus 4b. Minus 4b times 9a squared is a minus 36a squared b. The minus 4b times the negative 24ab gives me a positive 96ab squared. And then the minus 4b times a positive 16b squared gives me a negative 64b cubed. Now combining like terms, there's a negative 72a squared b and a minus 36a squared b gives me a minus 108a squared b, a 48ab squared, and a 96ab squared gives me 144ab squared. And that's a good way of multiplying polynomials together.